and three clap actors, shot. No? Hmm? We are really good actors. <laughs> yes, you. These are mostly film photos. Actually, I have to update my website. It's been a long time since I've updated it, maybe about eight months. I've been a photographer and taking it serious for about six years at this point. Uh, I've always been into it, but yeah, six years I've been taking it serious. Uh, and only film until about six months ago when I finally just dove into digital. I look for patterns, contrast, like black on white, a lot of shadows. I like to play with light. Silhouettes, man looking about the mountain. Here's another one. Maybe you can't see this one very well, but this is Makwa back here. Uh, it's my friend Kyle on our balcony. Pattern, repetition, mm -hmm. black and white, lines. If I'm shooting a photo, it most of the time it has to be in the moment. I can't just like set it up like a, like studio photography is cool, but I I like to shoot photos in the moment. And this is uh, very momentary. This was in the moment. My friend Adrian power sliding downhill in San Francisco in his shadow just creates this monster behind him, the boogeyman. This one was very momentary as well. This is why I chose it. Uh, a couple getting married in the background, and this is again in London. Same person, just back tailing the sledge. I have a habit of shooting people sleeping on the street, uh, homeless or very into drugs and just crippling themselves and I think that's because that's what I fear most in life is being alone and broken and homeless and not being able to help myself. Here's a man, you can tell the fear in his eyes, this is very momentary like I was talking about before, police arresting him for it. Uh, bludgeoning another man with a blunt object and uh, making him bleed a lot. There is one specifically and it was a car accident and I was shooed away by police and there's a body hanging out of the window. Vivian Meyer even though she's not around anymore, this was a woman who shot photography for most of her life and no one ever knew until she died and they found a trunk full of film and they processed all of it and she never got any recognition until she was gone. I may sound a little sick for this one, but if I could freeze time and take the perfect photo, it'd probably be something traumatic like a suicide someone jumping off a bridge and that sounds a little dark but it's just it's a photo that you don't see very often so it's very rare I see the progress of my own work going from shooting something so so simple to complicated and now I'm trying to shoot even more simple work like portraits this is a, a friend of mine who is a cop he's a total badass but this picture defines him this is another friend who has some uh, some demons of her own. Uh, this is a friend, and this is the city behind him that represents him. So, and it's my friend Adam. Uh, skates for Hotel Blue. Works at Labor Skate Shop in New York, and uh, this is probably his last week in San Francisco. And this is him pushing down the street in the middle of traffic. And uh, you don't really see people pushing downtown in San Francisco. It's always in the hills. 
And this is just reminds me of uh, old Sub Zero era, like Ricky Oyola and just mashing down the street. Basically, just by myself. I don't like to be around people. I like to focus. Sometimes I do drugs and I just go out by myself and I'm not with people and I feel like that gives me a different perspective on things. Alone, specifically in the rain. I like when it's raining because it's very moody. Everyone has an umbrella, which is something you don't see every day unless you live somewhere where it rains every day. But uh, yeah, I think that just me and the camera, it's, that's it. Dark. Me llamo Roger Ferrero, soy de Barcelona, de Raval de toda la vida. Yo empecé a hacer fotos porque salía por la calle con la cámara o veía cosas y oh, le hacía una foto. Luego a veces no la llevaba y me pasaba también. Entonces empecé a llevarla siempre y digamos que me inspira lo que me encuentro, ¿no? La, las escenas, da igual del tipo que sean. Por ejemplo, fotos como estos dos niños, lo que más me gusta hacer porque es, es lo que me encuentro yo por ahí, ¿no? Pues para mí una buena foto es cualquier foto que te haga sentir algo, ¿no? Que la veas y digas... Oh, ya sea algo, un sentimiento o algo que digas que bonito o lo que sea, pero que la veas y digas, oh, no sé, que te que llame la atención, ¿no? Si tengo que definir mi perspectiva en una palabra sería life, que es un poco lo que yo creo que hago en mi trabajo, captar lo que veo. J'habite à Barcelone depuis 20 ans et je suis photographe. So I've been photographer for almost like 20 years working as a professional, but then I've been taking pictures since I'm a kid playing with the camera of my father. Usually when I'm going to take pictures it depends on where I am and with who I go. If I go take for uh, some skate pictures, okay of course we always make a crew with uh, some skaters and filmer and then we just take our bags and cruise around looking for some spots. I mean, Lucas, you know what I mean? I like this one. Bonnie Page, Master Tom Penny, Chris Farner, Killing It, Oscar the G, Mastiff Kickflip. What I'm looking in my pictures is more about trying to find a new perspective and a new angle of what people see usually, just not just like simple picture of what you have in front of you trying to find some different angles different working with reflections and all these kind of things Paris the Louvre with my man Kevin Bisset my man Harvey reflection my inspiration is the city I'm living in here in Barcelona the people I live with when I'm traveling everything I see around me because I'm when I'm when I'm moving somewhere I'm always looking everywhere. I think to make a good photography would be to make a try to make a composition like painting because I'm painting too and when you tr make a po photography it has to show how it is properly, but as I say before, try to find angles and maybe use the, what you have around to make a proper composition. Not lady with some projection. Jerus Jimaja. Represent. My other work, uh, actually, I'm working as a filmer sometimes, doing some music videos. And then I'm working lately more as a painter, like uh, doing some sculptures with an old skateboard, like recycling, like this. This is the old one, I don't like it anymore, but it's cool. 
and uh, yeah, doing some stuff like that with skateboards and trying to mix uh, what I've been seeing in my travels in those like South American countries and street art, graffiti and mixing the old cultures like Incas, Mayas with graffiti and street art. Uh, if I could uh, freeze the time right now, it's a hard question. Uh, I would maybe go back to the 70s. I like that time, that was nice, but I was too young to really take pictures. So my perspective would be just one view of one thing right now.